Greetings, friend. How are you doing today? The holiday is in full swing here. The holiday season is in full swing here in the United States as well as in many places in the world, um, all over the world. And a lot of time when we have holidays because of certain things, um, the traditions and everything, we have a lot of memories coming up to us of the holiday past. What are some memories that you have? I would love to hear some of the memories that you have, um, whether it is a holiday on your own, perhaps it's a holiday with your family, with your loved one, with your pet. Um, what are some memories that you have? I would love for you to share it in the comments below. And so we can just cherish each other memories. And for some of us, though, I know for some of us, being a grief recovery coach, that for some of us, um, memories can be wonderful and it is it's lovely to have but can also bring us sadness because it's normal for us if the memories of the persons that we love and care about or um or the pet even that's the, the persons or the pets no longer around and with us physically the memories can also bring us sadness and so what can you do if some of the memory that you have about a holiday or at any time bring you sadness the first thing to know is that it is normal it it is normal for our memory um, to bring us sadness is the one that we care about no longer here with us physically that it is absolutely normal even if the loss is 20 years ago or 30 years ago um, one of my fondest memory is for when I was six years old that was 40 something years ago so memories come at any time and it's normal to uh, if it is bring us sadness if the, what um, the persons and the uh, pets no, no longer here with us and this other thing that we can do if our memory bring us sadness beside knowing that it is normal is to be kind to ourselves and to acknowledge it to acknowledge and to honor it and and to be to be kind to ourselves and not saying oh i don't want to remember this oh i want to push this away memory is like warm it'll find a way to us and so um so just to be kind to ourselves to acknowledge the memory and to actually cherish the beautiful part of the memory instead of focusing on the sadness. We want to acknowledge and honor the sadness, but we can also cherish the beautiful memory. When we cherish the beautiful memory, it's express our love and honor for the one who's no longer here with us physically, as well as to send love and gratitude. So to send love and gratitude to the person or the pet who's no longer here with us physically as well as to ourselves for being a part of the memory and so to send love and gratitude to know that it is normal to cherish the persons or the pet as well as the memory and uh, and and notice the good feeling that we have from there and know that it is normal and be kind to ourselves be, be easy to ourselves um not demanding that we get rid of this memory or be happy right now inside nothing like that but to just honor the feeling honor and honor the memory and and at the same time if the memories that comes up brings much more than just a, a, a feeling of a brief sadness because sometimes the holiday actually are also the time when we feel a lot of grief if we have a loss in the last year or two or three and so, and on occasion sometimes even a loss that we have from decades ago the holiday can can remind us to the loss and bring us a lot of pain and a lot of grief and a lot of lot of lot of grief and and we are end up grieving through the holiday instead of um, or in additions um, to feeling all the joy and the fun of the holiday if you or somebody you know are grieving through the holiday or feeling a lot of grief this holiday then what you want to do is you want to listen to tomorrow morning video tomorrow morning um what my my uh, interview with the experts is a grief recovery trainer who's been training grief recovery specialists like myself as well as helping many thousands thousands hundreds of thousands of people with their grief and i will share we will share with you there if somebody you know is grieving feeling a lot of grief this holiday 
what can you do for them or uh, as well as what can we do for ourselves if we are the one who are feeling the grief. And this is Birgit with From Griefing to Joyful Living. I wish you a wonderful, lovely holiday um, and wonderful, lovely memories and that, that we can share and we can um, send gratitude and love to. And please feel welcome to share this video with anybody you love. Feel, feel welcome to share your feedback and your memories in the comments below. And and I love you very, very much. I thank you very, very much for watching. And I look forward to see you again very, very soon.